Well, here we go. We've got a tiny little raptor. Cause the, look at him, he's standing on one leg. Now, it's a, it looks to be either a common kestrel or a lesser kestrel. Now, I'm just trying to make doubly sure. I think it's going to be the common kestrel. Uh, in southern Africa, sometimes called a rock kestrel. This guy's just looking a little bit bedraggled uh, at the moment. Now, the reason what I'm looking at for the difference between the common kestrel and the lesser kestrel is that it's 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 a male as well is the breast of the common kestrel or rock kestrel is a lot more streaky and uh, well, we can't really see it now oh you can it's definitely a common kestrel another ID, ID feature is the wings the outer wing feathers of a lesser kestrel are going to be gray whereas these are that orange orangey with black spots but there we go isn't that stunning? Now, I was actually looking for a bird that I was very excited to show everyone in this area because we're literally right up on one of the crests in the sea of grass, as I like to call it. And as you can see, as Dave slowly zooms out, the reason I'm not standing as up is I didn't want to give the, the bird a fright because we are quite close to it, but is a something that would definitely want to avoid the kestrel and it's a, a rosy throated long claw we've seen a yellow throated long claw but we haven't managed to see a rosy throated one yet and i've seen them quite a few times in this area so decided to have a look and you can see why i call this area a sea of grass it's grass 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 almost as far as the eye can see very few trees up here i'm going to try to sneak a little bit closer to the, the kestrel hopefully he doesn't fly and it is a, most definitely a he Uh, Nancy says, wow, we have kestrels here in Northern California. Well, indeed, um, there are kestrel species throughout the world, and some of them will even migrate. Uh, but I'm not sure whether we get any of the kestrels from Northern California and Africa. Oh, he's being so nice. Hi, little man. Oh, isn't that wonderful? He hasn't moved at all. And we can get a much better view. Now, it's very uncommon to have a little raptor sit so nicely like this. It's so uncommon, I'm going to have to, have to take a picture. There we go. Beautiful. That is so cool. Now, he's mostly an insectivore. So he'll hawk for insects above the grass. And that's one of the reasons these big open grasslands often have uh, quite a few... Oh, off he goes. Has he spotted something? Yes, he did. And he's after a grasshopper, I think. I said that now after insects, ninety percent of the time. But unfortunately, I think. Uh, oh, look at him! Look at him go! You catch that ho ho! Oh no, not a butterfly. Now grasshoppers are one of their favourite foods. as well as many other insects. Unfortunately, there is a construction vehicle on its way towards us, so he might disappear, but we'll stick with him for as long as possible. I think he's about to take off. One, two, three, there he goes. Okay, we're going to keep moving away from this beautiful little kestrel. Uh, 